Hello there and welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Daphne. I want to welcome you to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. As the title says, this is an extreme barbecue makeover. Over this past weekend, um, over the holiday weekend, I had a smoke fest in my barbecue and that is because I have not cleaned it in I don't know how long. There is so much built up grease and grime inside of my barbecue that it totally turned black with soot from the high um, smoke. So I decided that I was going to completely take this grill apart and clean it. I'm just showing you close up images and I am not proud of this, but I have to tackle it and I'm trying to, you know, show you realistic projects that I have to do in my outdoor space and this happens to be one of them. So we are going to tackle this barbecue. We're going to um, stain the wall. We're going to add in a little obulus um, in the little flower bed. So we're gonna just gonna be doing so much in this video. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. Sit back, relax. And if you have something that you need to do at the same time, put me up on the screen and let's get it done together. So I'm just going in, this is a low um, fume, but it's a heavy duty spray. I picked it up at low, actually at Home Depot this morning. So I just sprayed it, I let it set for a little while. As you can see, I changed my clothes because I knew that we were going to get good and dirty with all of this cleaning. So I just wanted to be comfortable. And I'm just going in after it sat for, say about 20 minutes or so, and I'm just, you know, scrubbing it with the brush and we're going to keep spraying it and wiping it down and trying to make it as clean as possible. As you can see, there was so much buildup at the bottom of this grill. So I'm just going in with a plastic spatula to just scrape everything out. Um, we are gonna get this spick and span. Um, eventually, I do pull the entire grill out and I take the whole pan out and I'm able to like really get everything out of it and then also clean it underneath the drip tray and just get all of the stuck on grease away. This is so satisfying to watch back as I'm editing. So I hope that you guys enjoy it as well.
So I just want to let everyone know if this is your first time stopping by, thank you so much for joining me today. And to all of my loyal subscribers that have been with me from the beginning and that come back each and every video and just pour so much love and support into my channel, I just want to say thank you so much. And if this is the first time that you're hearing my voice, I hope that you love this video enough to subscribe and to come back for another video i do upload twice per week on wednesday and friday at 7 p.m eastern standard time and i would absolutely love if you subscribed and joined my community we have so much fun in the comments so if this is your first time by please introduce yourself so i can welcome you As you can see, we are not messing around. We are getting all of this soot off of this grill. We're going in, we're scrubbing at multiple you know, times. We're reapplying the product and we are just trying to get as much of this grime off of this barbecue as I can. Leave me a comment down below and let me know, have you been upkeeping your grill? I think that this is on its last leg, I have to say. Hopefully the next grill that we get, I give it a little more TLC from the beginning.
So I hope everyone enjoyed their week. And I hope that you have amazing plans for the weekend. I hope that you're able to rest. I definitely plan on resting. Um, I'm going to be doing some family, um, you know, trips. Uh, my son always has tournaments, so we're always doing something um, related to baseball. And then we're just going to just have some quiet family time. So I hope that you guys are able to enjoy your weekend as well. So now that we have the grill nice and clean, we're just going to be moving over to tackling the wall. So we created, um, my husband and myself, um, this slat wall to be able to, you know, define the barbecue area. I want to say about four or five years ago, I've done other videos where I've done, you know, mini makeovers in this area. So I'll link those videos in the description and also in the cards but i really needed to just go in and give this entire wall another coat of paint actually stain it's um bare slate um semi transparent um stain and sealer i picked up another can i've used this on a bunch of different projects um, throughout the landscape so we're just going to just give it a nice fresh coat. But before I do that, I just wanted to spray everything down, let it dry. And then we're going to go in and um, just refresh the entire wall. As you can see behind the grill, the first time that I stained, I did not move it out. So we're just going to be able to just give it a nice coat. Um, this is just going to be one coat that I'm going to be doing. After this dries, I know over the weekend I'm going to be able to give it, you know, at least one or two additional coats, especially behind the grill, so that I can just even out the overall color of the wall. So as we just add back all of this decor here on the barbecue area, I just wanted to just share one other area that I was able to do the other day. This little flower bed, this plant, it's a purple beautiful plant. I'm gonna have to look up the name of it. Um, I probably will post the name of it in a post on the community tab, but I've planted it I want to say about six years ago I really forgot what the name of it is I always have to like look it up to be able to identify it but it's so beautiful it be brew it blooms so beautiful it's a beautiful purple color but the plant always flops over and I've never had like any type of support so I went on Amazon and I purchased this beautiful trellis um, obulus 
and it is metal and it's a uh, plastic coating and it came you know in a box flat and I'm just able to just put it all together it actually is about you see there I think it ranges from four to eight feet and we're actually only putting two of the levels together so that it will reach about four feet because this plant is not that large so I don't need to have it you know be the max height so we're just going to be putting that together and then we're going to then put it over the plant as you can see it's flopped over and we're just going to gently put the plant inside of the obulus and it's going to have the support that it needs. So I just want to thank you so much for joining me. We are about to go into the reveal. I hope that you guys enjoy it. All of the areas, the garden bed and also the barbecue area. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and until the next time, have a blessed day. I'm